This is video number 80 for cello students, and in this video we're going to learn C naturals. And you're going to find this pretty easy, as long as you understood the last two videos about how to do F natural. Because you'll notice very quickly, it's just the same thing, but on the A string. That's it. Okay? So, I need you, do need you open to page 33. I need you tuned with your tuner, and get a really, like, a green line standing straight up, the, the needle standing straight up, not doing this business or anything like that. Good green light, really well in tune, so that we can use your tuner to play your new note in tune as well. Okay? So, I'm sure you figured out already, if this was F sharp, and this was F natural, known as plain old F, then this was C sharp. How are we going to play C natural? There. Remember, again, there's three positions to every note. Sharp, natural, flat. Okay? Sharp's the highest. To take a sharp and make it natural, you, you go lower sounding. Okay, so this is C sharp. To go lower sounding, we can move our we go we go notes towards a scroll. Okay, so two fingers on the A string. That's all it is. Pretty easy. Okay, make sure you're really well in tune. Tune those A's and do four C naturals on the A string. Second finger on the A string. Echo me. Two B's, two C's. B, B, C, C. Now do B and then C sharp. B, B, C sharp, C sharp. Do two high D's, two C sharps. C sharp. D, D, C sharp, C sharp. Two high D's, two C naturals. C natural. A, B, C sharp, C sharp. A, B, C sharp, C sharp. Now A, B, C natural. A, B, C natural, C natural. Okay? Now, look at page 33, number 130. Look at your key signature. Now, your key signature says... All F's are sharp, and all C's are sharp for the whole song. Now look at what you're actually playing, okay? The natural sign, remember, a note that doesn't appear in the key signature is called an, called an accidental, okay? The natural sign appears before that first C, so that's clearly a C. Remember that the natural sign is good for the whole measure, unless a sharp sign comes along and takes over. It doesn't in this one. Look at this entire line. Are you ever playing anything other than C natural? No, you're not, okay? Because the natural sign carries through the next, to the end of the measure. It expires at the end of the measure. You need a new one in measure two to keep playing C natural and look, they put one. So it's all C natural. We're not going to shadow bow this. You're just going to play it because it's that easy, okay? Shadow bow. I'm sorry, don't shadow bow. Play C natural, 130. Second finger on the A string. One, two, right, say, and go. C. <laughs> C natural you learned. You learned a C natural over on the G string. Remember, just plain old C. Okay, you've been playing that for a while now. This is C natural in the A string. C natural, you know C sharp. Do you know C sharp in the G string? Not yet. Will you learn it? Yes, you will. Book two. Okay? All right, now look at 131. Look at your key signature. The key signature says all Fs are sharp, all Cs are sharp. So look at measure one. You have D, then you have C what? Hopefully you said sharp. D, C sharp, D. Look at measure three. D, C natural, D. Then you repeat. Natural signs expired, so you go back to, nothing appears in, in the measure, so you go by the key signature. Measure one is D, C sharp, D. All right? Um, let's go ahead and shadow bow this one, mainly because I want you to hear it before you play it, so we can hear the difference between sharp and natural. One, two, shadow bow, and go. D, C sharp, Rest. 
press. Okay? Play that now. 131 and 1, 2, 131 and go. D, C sharp. is going to be very similar, okay? However, before we play that, um, what I want us to do is, I want to, I want to show you one more thing about key signatures, just to make sure you're, you're aware of this. So, I mentioned it in one of the previous videos. So, this key signature says all Fs are sharp and all Cs are sharp, right? This is clearly a C sharp, because there's no natural sign in front of it. Now, we have a natural sign here in front of this F. So, the natural sign is good for the whole measure. But guess what? It's only good for the Fs in the whole measure. So even though there's a natural sign before this, this is still a C sharp because the natural sign is only good for the uh, all the Fs in that measure. It's not good for everything, just the Fs in that measure. So this is C sharp, F natural, C sharp. What is this? F natural because that natural sign is still good through the whole measure. Okay, I just wanna make sure that that was made clear. That is not something you're gonna deal with in this, but um, it is something you'll deal with sooner or later. So I wanna make sure you understood how to do that. Okay, 132, shallow. It's gonna be very similar to uh, Spy Guy. Shallow, 132, and one, two, breaks A, and go. D, now C sharp, right? sharp you might want to go review um, one video ago okay um, the, the previous video video number 79 because I kind of explain that all with 128 but just remember if there's nothing in the key signature you go oh, I keep saying it wrong if there's nothing in the measure you go by the key signature if there's no extra little symbols in the measure like a natural or sharp sign you go by the key signature so in measure one those are both C sharps okay in measure two the natural sign has taken over for the rest of the measure or unless a sharp sign comes along. So you have natural sign in front of the first note, so the first two notes are C natural, but then the last two are C sharp. All right. If you need, to, if you need more review than that, you might want to exit out of this video and go watch uh, video 79 again. Okay, play with me now if you're ready. 132, 1, 2, red, C, and go. C sharp. Um, and we're going to learn even more about key signatures and kind of how those are working now.